Hi, welcome back to another Garmin Marine Team webinar. And today I am pleased to announce the brand new Garmin Force Crack and Troll Motor. Hi everyone, I'm John with the Garmin Marine Team and I wanted to kind of show off and uh, give you some of the updated features and models in our brand new series of force trolling motors and this is the force kraken as always if you have any questions specifically for this webinar please email us at marine.training at garmin.com so 2023 in the summer we just announced the brand new force kraken uh it is based upon our original force trolling motor which we announced in 2019 and that was really our original trolling motor that hit the pretty much the bass boat market is the popularity that you're looking at on that scissor type mount and the request for the last few years was something with uh, longer shafts uh, salt water and fresh water capable and bigger boats and that's where the kraken comes into play now so we're going to hit some new markets with this trolling motor here let's take a look at it uh, three different models that you're going to take a look at for shaft lengths, and then we have some subsets of models there too. So they come in 63, 75, and 90 inch, black or white. Uh, the black versions actually will include a transducer, and I'll get into the specifics on that. Um, that is more kind of focused towards the freshwater side, but either motor has a three-year warranty that can be used in either fresh, salt, or brackish water. Make sure that you get the correct measurements for your trolling motor. Uh, we measure from the bottom of the shaft cap to the top of the motor prop drive. So make sure that uh, you have the proper shaft length. Here's a diagram that kind of gives you an idea of what you measure and then what we recommend in your shaft length for your brand new trolling motor. So why force Kraken? Uh, it's still the most powerful uh, trolling motor on the market. It's a brushless motor that has really quiet operation. Um, it has a built-in dual frequency GPS and we've improved some of the algorithms and we'll get into that with how we can actually reverse prop for anchor lock and really quiet the trolling motor down quite a bit. Multiple control options between our foot pedal handheld remote control, the Quadix Marine Watch, or your Garmin chart plotter. We do have uh, sonar integration on the black models there uh, with the GT56 all-in-one transducer, and then a very unique way that we're gonna integrate live scope that many people will be happy with and be able to see how we can do that. So pivot style, uh, we're looking for something to actually add on to what we did with the uh, scissor mount, which you see on mainly on bass boats, but we needed something with a smaller footprint and longer shaft trolling motors. So obviously we came out with a new pivot style crack and trolling motor here. Uh, typically you're gonna find those on saltwater or multi-species boats and a little bit larger. And then obviously I said, we have longer shaft lengths to accommodate those bigger boats. Uh, it's still the most powerful, quiet, brushless DC motor out there on a trolling motor. At 36 volts, we measure at 100 pounds of thrust, and that's using the ISO 13342 standard. Uh, these trolling motors, just like the prior force trolling motors, can operate on either 24 or 36 volt. If you're operating on 36 volt and you happen to lose a battery, you don't have to disconnect. It will actually drop down and still run on the 24 volt system. We've improved the uh, boat control. We've really the uh, AHARS compass that's built into it, optimizing algorithms, uh, the all-in-one accurate GPS that's integrated into the trolling motor itself. With that, we can hold an anchor lock better, more accurate steering and heading hold. And then, like I said, you can control that through your Garmin Quantix watch and many other Garmin watches out there. Leading sonar integration. So like I said, we have the GT56 ultra high definition transducer integrated into the black versions of the crack controlling motor. So that's gonna give you your traditional chirp sonar 
clear view and side view chirp sonar in that ultra high definition, high frequency transmit. Cable management system, we'll take a look at that. Um, and then we also have, have um, tuned these trolling motors here to take out any type of noise. So when you're running it with a Garmin transducer, you're not gonna see noise on your sonar screen uh, on your actual tarp plotter. So what's included in the box? So this year with the Kraken, you're gonna get in the black versions, which are the 63 inch and 75, you get the handheld remote uh, that is waterproof to an IPX7 standard and it floats and that has gesture steer that we can talk about again. Many people are familiar with that with the original force. You get the trolling motor and then that includes the GT56. In the white versions, 63, 75 and 90 inch shaft lengths, you get the handheld remote, the trolling motor itself, uh, you do not get a tr uh, transducer in this version here, and then the 90-inch model does have the deck stabilizer included, a uh, new and improved deck stabilizer. This is also an accessory if you wanted to get it on the 63 or 75-inch shaft. You can add that later. Um, powerful, most powerful trolling motor on the market, like we said. So when we're comparing head to head to um, the competition here, at, at 36 volts, we're leading all of the competition that's out there. Um, it's more powerful than 24 volt also, and that's measured by that ISO 13342 standard. Um, so we've done a great job with this brushless motor and making it very efficient, but very powerful and boat control with anchor lock. So we kind of have a kind of the special sauce here with this. So more and improved and uh, accurate anchor lock with navigation really comes from the dual frequency GPS and the algorithm improvement there. Uh, the force cracking is much more accurate in obstructed conditions also. So under bridges, bluffs, near docks, tree covers, um, you know, mountainous regions that you're in and you're in a lake surrounded by mountains, you're gonna get a better GPS signal to get you better accuracy. The trolling motor also has improved in calm water performance when you're using anchor lock. And what it'll actually allow us to do is if the vessel is not moving significantly, instead of spinning the servo or the top of the trolling motor, it will just reverse prop spin. Obviously, that's going to be a lot quieter. So if the prop's going forward or reverse, that's all underwater. You're not going to really hear that at all. And so that's a huge improvement. Uh, rough water improvement, too. So it's going to handle the bigger waves, the current. And what it'll actually do, it, it has almost a auto gain type feature. So if you're in heavy sea conditions with a lot of current and wind, it will apply the proper thrust in order to get you and keep you on that position. Live scope integration. So that's what you said here. We want to have a cable management system. So when you're adding live scope in the bracket as the accessory, all this here will mount to the trolling motor and then the cables are run up through the center of the shaft. In order to do that, you're going to purchase the live scope mounting kit and then live scope. And then that would allow you to take what you see here, default out of the box is the live, uh, the crack and trolling motor here, and then adding live scope, and then running the cable up through here. And a simple um, user install in order to add live scope. So you're not having to try to route that cable outside of the shaft of the trolling motor itself. The force Kraken is completely wireless, so the ecosystem can be utilized with the handheld remote, the wireless foot pedal, the Active Captain app, so that's where you can do all your software updates. Uh, you can also connect through a Garmin chart plotter and control it through that. Your Quadix Marine Watch, like the Quadix 7, and then PowerPole integration. 
And we have some really cool features on PowerPole that I'm going to talk about where we work really well with PowerPole and do something very unique when you're actually doing anchor lock and you have PowerPoles on board. Floating remote, so this is a handheld remote that we've had out for the last few years now. Um, we can now support two remote controls on the same network. Uh, very unique with this remote itself is, yes, it's waterproof to IPX7 standards. It has a bright sunlight viewable screen, but it also has gesture steering. So you can literally point and move your remote control to the area that you want to go to and steer that trolling motor by following your hand gestures. Uh, it also has all the other uh, operating systems there where it's going to give you um, programmable, uh, you know, turn on the prop, turn off the prop, increase speed, decrease speed, uh, anchor lock, all built into that. You can also program one of the four keys here when you're connected to a chart plotter. And if number one was my live scope, that would change that screen of my chart plotter to live scope when I press that button. AA batteries last about a full fishing season um, and completely wireless. Uh, foot pedal, uh, we've had this out obviously since the original four strolling motors, same foot pedal will be able to control the force crack and trolling motor. Um, it, it feels and steers just like a cable steered foot pedal. It does fit in a standard foot well on most boats. It's got the speed adjust, uh, heading lock, anchor lock, uh, and momentary and continuous buttons on there. You can either have it connected wireless or wire powered. So you can go right to um, 12 volt power on your boat if you didn't want to use AA batteries. If you wanted to, you could go completely wireless, put in two AA batteries there, and it'll last about a season, and the same waterproof IPX7. So IPX7, uh, one meter of water for 30 minutes is that standard. And then chart plotter control. So a number of our echo map units that are current in our GPS map series allow you to put the uh, top or bottom bar here in order to control and view your trolling motor. So you can control it right from the helm if you wanted to. And this is going to give you, you know, continuous mode, battery indicator, prop speed, cruise control, uh, anchor lock right from your Garmin chart plotter. Wearable remote control. So for the Force Kraken, um, you can go ahead and control that through your Quadic 7 watch, and then that'll give you easy pairing, and we can do heading hold, anchor mode, uh, prop on or off, jog steer if we needed to change positions, and then increase and decrease the boat speed there. Uh, you can use it with a multitude of other Garmin watches too, for instance, the Phoenix 7. Um, just make sure that you take a look at the owner's manual in order to download the proper app and then connect to your Kraken trolling motor. This is something I talked about earlier here. So this is advanced boat control. This is along with power pole and the force Kraken. We allow you to do what we call like a smart anchor selection and boat control. What this in essence does in a nutshell it allows you to when you have the power pole connected through the sea monster gateway to your garmin network system we can then identify which system is going to hold us in place when we're either fishing or we just want to anchor in a certain spot so if the depth is less to the point where the power poles can hold them in that depth, we're going to use the power poles. If the power poles won't be able to reach the, uh, the that depth, our anchor lock will then hold us in place. We can also <clears throat> identify drift and drag. So when the boat is um, drifting or moving off position, the power poles will stow allow us to reposition and then if we're at a depth that the power poles can reach the um 
lake or sea floor, the power poles will go back in as your anchor lock. Uh, same thing if we're going to jog. So if we're going to move positions there at that final point along, you know, it's going to identify the depth that we're at and then either use power poles to anchor us or our anchor lock on our Kraken. And then when we stow our, stow our force trolling motor, the power poles will automatically stow as well. Uh, these will be exclusive features to Garmin chart plotters when they're introduced. And then just make sure that you go through and update your uh, Garmin chart plotters, echo map units, GPS map units, and any power pole software updates. Some new accessories that we came out with. Quick release plate system here. So we have a brand new machine, aluminum quick release bracket. So it allows you to easily remove the Kraken from the deck of the boat and then also has a padlock for security built into it, either white or black. And then the deck stabilizer. So if you buy the 90 inch model, the deck stabilizer is included. If not, you can go ahead and add that to any one of these systems here. And it's got that unique locking system there to keep that lock onto the trolling motor shaft and then allows that, especially on the longer shafted trolling motors, so you're not getting that bounce or the trolling motor bouncing all around in heavy seas or um, you know, when the uh, boat is moving at a fast pace. Some other accessories that you'll take a look at here, um, we've got the replaceable nose cone adapters, the longer nose cone, which is going to be able to accommodate that GT56 all-in-one transducer, um, skags, every uh, accessory that you might need here. Um, I just want to make sure to include that part number. You can always go to uh, Garmin.com and then look for the Kraken trolling motor and for more information on our accessories. And then the complete lineup. So based upon our original introduction of the force trolling motor, the award-winning force trolling motor at ICAST in 2019. Um, that had a 50 and 57 inch shaft. It was a scissor mount, great trolling motor, really designed for more or less the bass boat or smaller boats. Um, yes, it can be used in either fresh salt, brackish water on the original force trolling motor, but now we expand on that with uh, longer shafts from 63, 75, all the way up to 90 inch shafts. 24, 36 volt, and the complete lineup there with the pivot mount force crack and trolling motor comes with a three year warranty, limited lifetime on this shaft. So I wanna thank everyone. That was just a brief overview of the Kraken trolling motor that was just announced at ICAST 2023. If you wanna go ahead and look at some of our past webinars for the Garmin Marine team. You've got a QR code here that'll go into any of our past webinar trainings and then also a link to our marine brochures. If you have any specific questions on this particular webinar, please email us at marine.training at garmin.com and let us know that you have a question on the crack control motor. And as always, I want to thank you. I'm John with the Garmin Marine team and we'll see you out on the water.